Okay, welcome to another video. So I'm busy working on my album and working on one of my songs and then I got an email from, I'm not going to mention who, for their own privacy because obviously it's an email so what you mean, you know, it's private so I'm not going to say their name but they sent an email and I always get emails like this so he says that Good day, X. They say that I've been producing for a while, but my problem started 2017 when I noticed that my sound quality is poor when producing, so changed from laptop to PC. Before we read any further, here's the problem here. I don't think this is the issue that you're having if you're changing from laptop to PC because I'm sure it's basically the same thing. Unless if you were changing from laptop to PC, um, you, th there was something different, maybe you wanted to move or something like that. I made a video of why I switched from like a desktop PC to a laptop and most of it was because I just wanted something more powerful and I wanted to switch to Mac. So I don't have those details in terms of, you know, what was the goal of that because they noticed that their sound quality is poor but I don't think it has to do with the computer itself so that's just the first thing I wanted to get out the way. So when producing, so changed from laptop to PC but still I'm not sure anymore because from the word go everything has less lows, highs and mids. Okay, hold on a second. Less lows, highs and mids, that's the whole frequency spectrum. So I'm not sure exactly what is the problem here because if you have less lows, highs and mids, it means that your whole, like the whole song is, is weak and you're just not feeling the quality of, of everything that's coming out. Which leads me to my second question, which is a question that I would ask that. What are you using to monitor? Like, what kind of headphones do you have? Or what kind of speakers do you have? And what are your monitoring speakers that you are using in this instance so that we can kind of see if maybe you need to get some better monitoring? Because if you get a good pair of headphones, the headphones are the best way to go in terms of, you know, budget-wise. Headphones can give you a decent amount of quality. You can get nice lows. Like, these headphones have way more bass than my speakers actually have. For my speakers, for me to get the same bass I get on these headphones, I would need a subwoofer underneath the disc. So I'm just saying that you need to get yourself a good pair of headphones if you cannot afford studio monitors. But that's why I have both because, you know, I can just switch between the headphones and the speakers so I can kind of have a different, you know, set of monitors to listen to my music to. So that's one thing I just wanted to also say when it comes to this situation, but I'm not sure what exactly this means. And then he continues to say that, so I want to know from you, could the PC quality have something to do with this or even audio drivers I'm using? I highly doubt that. If I was a betting man, I would say that has nothing to do with that. The PC you're using has nothing to do with the quality of music you're making and the drivers you're using have nothing to do with the quality that you're, of, of your music that you're making. It has nothing to do with that. And then they continue to say that, please advise, I'm really starting to stress about this. Thanks in advance. Okay, so that's the whole email. I, I always get emails like this. So the, the one thing that I'm going to say is that as producers, especially when you're starting out, one problem that I'm seeing a lot is that a lot of people don't want to take accountability for their own lack of composition skills and their own lack of skill in terms of composition skills. You see, when you're a music pr producer, especially when you're starting out, don't get too, how can I say this without being offensive? Don't get too big headed and think that you are amazing. You are doing amazing and you want to blame everything. Like when I'm sitting here in the studio, there's no way I'm going to blame my studio monitors or my headphones or my audio interface or my computer or even my keyboard for my song coming out trash. You understand? I'm not going to blame my equipment. I'm going to blame me. I made the horrible song. I made the song that's not good for me. So I'm going to take accountability because what we do as creatives is creative work, right? It's not something where it's just reliant on the equipment that you use. If you have your DAW software or your DAW or your music software that you use, you have everything that you need. All you are missing is the knowledge and knowledge is here on YouTube. And when people like me, when we make videos about the important things, most of those things are boring. It's hard to talk about those things and really exciting, really flashy Mr. Beast type of big ass grandiose videos and you know to keep y'all attention because most of y'all just just drift off and you don't watch it probably right now some of y'all are thinking of clicking away from this video right now but i'm giving you game i'm giving you real good information that you need to sit through and watch if you want to improve take accountability and improve on your improve on your skills as a musician improve on how you compose improve on how you compose 
with certain instruments improve to know to find your style how you can play like a piano how you can play chords how you can play bass how you can make good drums improve on those things so watch videos get inspiration and always look for those videos most people don't watch the most that's the videos that for, even for me when i make those videos that don't get watched the most those are the videos that have the most helpful information that i'll ever put out because they are the most boring think about school for instance a lot of people get a lot of life-changing information in school but most people are bored with school you understand but school always makes sure that you get all the information that you need to go with life it teaches you how to do math it teaches you how to read it teaches you how to just use your own logic that you have in your mind so the boring stuff is usually the good stuff when you listen to podcasts podcasts are super boring unless if it's those you know, red pill, blue pill podcast or whatever, you know, that's a whole other topic. But most podcasts, where they talk about business and life-changing stuff, it's usually just people sitting there talking about important things. It's boring because our minds are wired for entertainment. We're just in this entertainment thing, you know. And TikTok is also not helping because it, it, our, our attention spans are super, are super, like very short and it's just weird. So you want to try and make sure that you consume content that really helps you. Even if it's boring, take your time to just sit through it and like just take in all of that. And after you take in all of that, make sure that you put into practice and work on your composition skills and stop blaming your gear. We need to take accountability. If your music is trash, if you're not happy with your stuff, if you're not happy with your quality, it's probably you. It's not the equipment. It's not the PC or the drivers or the speakers or the monitor or the headphones or the audio interface or even the mouse. It is you. You are the one who's in control. You are the one who's actually inputting commands for this thing to play. So you need to make sure that that's what you do. So I hope you you found this really helpful and insightful. If you have any advice for this email that you also want to add to what I've been saying right here, make sure to drop it down below. If you want to see more videos like this, then make sure to also like this video, share it, and also drop me a comment down below. Then if I get emails like this, I can always, you know, just make a video about it and so I can help the community because we're a community here. Make sure to join if you haven't subscribed. Make sure to also like as I said, but let me get back to making my music. I just wanted to address this in today's video. I know this is kind of a talky video, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to see y'all guys in my next video. Anyway, peace.